you already know BC and the clamps don't make sense. And a lot of this don't make sense neither. It's a lot of confusion going on with the situation with Jamie Foxx. It's raising a lot of people's eyebrows. They're comparing it to Chad with Boozman and his situation. And to be honest with you, after reading an article that gave a little bit more detail based on the severity, it just lets you know that something just doesn't seem right. Especially when I tell you, when it comes to Holly Weird, you never know what you're going to get. You never know what to expect. And this is his DMZ reporting on the matter. This and is all in Atlanta, in Atlanta uh, where Atlanta. he's been working on a film. With Cameron Diaz. Yes. And um, he was taken to the hospital, and it was bad. Bad enough that family members from out of, outside of Atlanta, there were some in Atlanta, but family members from outside flew in and rushed to the hospital to be by his side. Um, so right there. They're not disclosing much because they can't because they don't want to, you know, be put in any type of controversy when it comes to that. But this gives you more of a greater detail, this article. Now, when you read this article, it says, according to the gossip, this is what it says, according to the gossip of the city T, he suffered a stroke and required surgery. He's in stable condition now. But before this incident occurred, Reports came out earlier this week that the production was halted twice. The first reported happened after Fox, an executive producer on the film, had a major meltdown. Just think about it for a second. Major meltdown. That lets me know that something that he was required to do and didn't want to participate in it lets you know that when you're in Holly Weird, when these people have to make sacrifices, they have to do things for roles or, you know, whatever position they want to be in or to continuously be in a position, these are the sacrifices they have to make. Martin Lawrence, when he was running around back in the day, he had a major meltdown when he was running through traffic. Look what he tried to pinpoint on with Dave Chappelle. Major meltdown right before those incidents occurred. All these stars have these major meltdowns. Britney Spears. I believe all these things happen when it comes down to a form of control, the MK Osher control, when it comes down to them having to put up with it and they break free from it for a little bit and then they snap and they get them back and, and they wire their brain back. Because look what it says. A major meltdown on set which led to the firing of four staffers, including an executive producer, two directors, and his own driver. And you mean to tell me after this happened, he had a stroke because he got rid of some people he didn't want to work with. And he got rid of some people that was probably handlers around him, people that were trying to force him. And he finally broke free. And then right after that, they say, uh-uh, we got to push you right back. Hit a button. Boom. He in the hospital. Then he going to wake up uh, back in that MK Osha control, back in the sunken place. Acting like nothing ain't even happened. Probably cool with the same people he fired. This is a sad day and age we live in, and we just got to take heed to what's going on around us. A lot of these things occur, and we have to make sure that we're paying attention. Because he just wasn't hospitalized randomly because of a stroke. He had a meltdown. He was breaking free. He was trying his best. But these celebrities, they, they so caught up and so deep within it that even if they tried to break free, they just going to get hit again. And it's put back under, and then boom, they're back pushing the agenda. Same thing. 